Hello everybody out there. So today I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS of the ASUS C170 motherboard Pro Gaming. Follow my steps and you'll be good to go. If this video helped you a lot, make sure you hit the like down below and subscribe for more tech videos. If this doesn't work for you, contact me immediately on my Facebook page. I reply to you as soon as I can. With that said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to the ASUS website, find your motherboard model, go to the support tab, go to drivers and tools, select your operating system, Windows 64 bit for me, find the BIOS, click it, and find the most recent BIOS update. Click download. Make sure your file is CAP. Go find it on your downloads or whatever you downloaded. And make sure your USB stick is clean with no other folders in it or other files. Drag and drop now. Make sure it's finally transferred and it's now time to eject our USB stick. My current BIOS version is the 031. Alright, what you want to do is go and select default settings. Click OK and we reset the motherboard. Alright, it's now time to insert our USB right here. I'm using the 3.1 USB port. Now let's go into advanced mode. advanced mode you can see the tabs and you want to select tool so now we are on asus ec flash 3 utility click that right here it's telling us what we want to use internet or usb i'm doing it manually so I select that and click next So here I am and it's showing my 4 gigabyte USB stick. This is the one that I want to click, the C170 Pro Gaming, that one. Click that. And it's going to ask us, Easy Flash, do you want to read this file? I said yes, so click that. And the new BIOS version is going to appear. So it's going to ask us, do you really want to update the BIOS? Of course I do. So click next. I'm fast forwarding this section here, but it's going to take an approximate about two or three minutes. Be patient and stay alert on the screen. It's going to ask us to reboot the computer. There we go, so click OK. Alright, so it's going to go into a black screen. That is going to come up. Now, I got scared right here because this is the first time that I've ever seen this here. It's going to ask me to do the same procedure one more time. Don't be afraid. Trust me, this is my first time updating this C170 motherboard. So I was a little skeptical and paranoid. But don't be afraid. You have to do the same procedure twice. So it's going to ask us to do the same thing over again. To finish the BIOS update, you have to select the same BIOS file, CAP file, again to continue updating the BIOS. So we do the same thing over again. Click next. Select the same file. Yes, again. And it's going to do the same thing again. This is the first time that I have to do this on a BIOS update. I had to do it twice. Most of the time, it's only one time. It's going to 
reboot, I fast forward this section too. It takes about three or four minutes. And here we are, we boot up back into our bias. So that's our new version 0802. Now hit the thumbs up. It all depends at the time that you watch this video. It could be one year from now, it could be two months from now if you're following or if you are seeking to do the same thing. Now your file is going to be different. It could be 0921 or 0859, whatever it is, make sure that you select the cap file make sure when you download it make sure it's the cap file now asus have these second parties or third parties software to do the bias update from windows and honestly i am very skeptical to do it that way so i do it the old-fashioned way now this motherboard has the option to give you and to update it through the internet which that will have to be another video that I will have to do for you on the next BIOS update. So if you want to see that video, stay tuned and subscribe. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.